So I'm deciding to set myself a challenge. I've always wanted to make t-shirts. I mean, who doesn't want the freedom to put a freaking dragon on a piece of fabric forever? I'm blown away. <laughs> but it wasn't all a piece of piss. I had my sticky moments. Who would have thought that I could get so stressed out over like a t-shirt? <laughs> so today I'm gonna show you all the ins and outs of how I'm setting up my new business. Hopefully this can help you get your first sale. So let me show you what's going on. Hold on a second. I am packaging. Oh God, I just shoved that address. I am packaging the first ever order. So that was me packaging my first order over two years ago. That makes me feel so old. Since then, I've been helping you guys start your own businesses through these videos. Okay, I'm kind of glad people like that video because I have a lot more advice. I've done many things wrong to do with my business and just in general, things have gone wrong. <laughs> Okay, this is the big reveal. F <laughs> so I feel like I've got a bit of um, imposter syndrome because everyone's watching this video and my business for the past few months has been on pause. Basically, my shop's been suspended. It's been very naughty. But today I'm gonna give myself 24 hours to start my business up again. So I'm gonna get my arse in gear. I'm gonna get everything organized. I'm gonna show you guys how I legitimize my business. I'm gonna create some new designs. I'm gonna package some orders. I'm gonna try out some new packaging ideas. I'm gonna make some TikToks, set up my Instagram business account and start on something new, which is screen printing, which I've never done before. So I feel like I'm gonna be starting from ground zero again. So I'll show you guys how I would set up my business if I were to do it all over again. So with that being said, let's get into it. So I think the first thing that I'm gonna try and do is to create some new designs. So I received requests to do two different bands. Number one is Metallica, love them. And number two is Gorillaz. I am obsessed with Gorillaz, so I think these vinyls should turn out okay, but I'm gonna go get started with those. I know the title of this video is starting my own business. Don't worry, all of that is coming later on in the video when I start my screen printing business. But for the people out there who haven't decided what product to sell or even what keywords to use, I would recommend doing product research. Now you can do this using Allura, which gives you so many statistics about what products are popular and what people actually want to buy. So you can see that for painted vinyls, there's 1.1 million views on that listing and 423 competing shops. Whereas for woman candles, um, there's three times as many views with a similar number of competing shops. Also gives you a bunch more statistics. So if you want to check that out, the link's in the description. So, once you've chosen a product, it's time to start making the product. So when I'm painting, I usually like to listen to a podcast, just chill out. It's honestly my favorite part of the day because I don't have to think. No thoughts, just vibes, all right? I also really like to have a drink whilst I'm painting, non-alcoholic or else my paintings would look like shit. <laughs> yeah, when I say a drink, I mean a cup of tea, all right? Nothing scandalous. <laughs> Okay, so as you guys can see, I've just finished uh, two new designs. So the Metallica one and the Gorillaz one are all finished. Um, I'm really happy how they turned out. I really hope that the person who ordered them likes them as well. Um, it'd be kind of bad if they didn't. So my next step is to package the orders. Top tip, definitely include a business card with all your socials on them. So I just use my printer at home and cut these out by hand because they kind of look rustic anyway, so. Okay, so basically all I do is I take one of these little stickers that just says thank you for supporting our business. Um, I got these on Amazon if you want to check that out. Um, and I stick one of these stickers onto one of the cards like this. And then I just stick it on the front of my products like that. Also, although I love my business cards, um, I think it'd be really cool if I put a QR code on them. So what I might work on this week is um, setting up like a link tree so I can have a website with all my links on them uh, and then create a barcode for that or a QR code, sorry and then put it on one of these cards so people can just scan it and see all of my links instead of just like two of them. So this is actually what my link tree ended up looking like. 
But I wanted to go a step further, so I went to QR Code Monkey, which is a website that lets you personalize a QR code for free, basically. Like, how cool is life that you could just make a QR code with your logo inside, and you could make it all these, like, funky colors? So cool. Anyway, after that, I wanted to go even further because I'm a madman. I went to Vista Prints and made a whole sticker out of this QR code so I can put it on my packages in the future. Uh, sadly, this bit wasn't free, but not sponsored, by the way. And then I have these specialist packages for vinyls. Um, I just literally stick that in there, take off the stickiness, and then seal it down. And I stick my thingy on the front of it, um, but I can't show you that because that would be doxing someone and I don't want to reveal where they live or get sued So I'm sure you can picture that part. My packages are very specialized for my vinyls But I've been looking into more unique packaging for my new screen printing business So I found this website called box up um, Lots of different shapes and sizes so you can choose like a pattern and stuff pretty cool Anyway, all that is left to do is to go to the post office or the delivery office because I prepay for my labels Okay, so I don't think I quite got done everything that I wanted to today so I've sort of sorted out my vinyls and stuff but I really want to get started with screen printing this is gonna probably take up the rest of the week because there's a lot that goes into it I really do feel like I'm starting from scratch with these t-shirts because it's like selling a product all over again I have to do all the photography and the marketing and stuff for that so hopefully you can find this more useful if you are right at the beginning of starting your shop but if you're at the beginning like me then step one is to get some design inspiration. This is my favorite thing because it's 100% up to you. So I start off with a pencil sketch and then I go over it in black pen. I thought it'd be fun to do some oat milk because fuck it. I've got some mushrooms, frogs, anything that I thought would be funny on a t-shirt. Then I transfer them into Illustrator, which I do by taking a picture of the design and whacking up the contrast. Then I take my time going over all of the shapes and making them all symmetrical and even. And then I turn it into a vector. Not the one from Despicable Me though. So the next step is making some purchases. Yesterday, I spent all of my money on supplies to start my new screen printing business. So instead of struggling on my own, I thought I'd bring you down with me. I really have just learned everything off of YouTube videos and phoning the company that I bought all my stuff off, which was, I think like screenprinting.com or something. <laughs> okay, wow. First things first, we have the, um, the emulsion, which comes with diazo and... So this is the ink that I'm gonna use. This is what I'm gonna be putting on the t-shirts. Honestly, these pots are smaller than I thought. This is so exciting though. They like build this with stuffing. Okay, I am now moving on to this package. <gasps> it's the clothes. This is the thing that I'm most nervous about. Will the clothes be good quality? I am very specific about what kind of clothes I like. I ended up being super happy with the ones that I bought, even though they were a little more spenny, but it was worth it. This was one of the most exciting packages ever. Right, so inside this one is something a little bit less exciting. It's all the emulsion remover and the screen printing cleaning stuff. This is all the kind of stuff that you, it's not very glamorous, but you still have to spend money on it because you want to obviously keep your screens clean. Apparently you can tell if it's like really tight, that means it's a good screen, so I'm very happy with this. Okay, so with all the goods secured, it was time to start getting my designs to the correct size. So I printed them all out on normal paper, did some trial and error, made them bigger if I needed to. Then I moved over onto transparent paper. What? It's crazy. <laughs> so these are like stencils. I place them over the emulsion on the screen and then they block the UV light out in specific spots. So then you wash the designs out with water and it gives you the perfect design on the screens. But of course, before that, I needed to coat the screen using emulsion. I think you have to mix that one into this, which was very scary because now I only have one month to use all of that up. A kilogram, a kilogram of emulsion. Okay, I've just coated the screen and I'm really not sure if I've done it right because I realized that my scoop coater is about this big and my screen is about double the size of that. So um, we're gonna have to see if that actually worked out. Let me tell you, this was the messiest and stressiest process of all time. There was purple shit like everywhere. I had to be in the dark or else the emulsion like dries up because UV is actually how you expose your screen. 
But this is the exciting bit. I bought a black light bulb. So this gives out UV radiation. Ooh. So I can expose my screen properly. Ooh. <laughs> Have you seen how cool this shit looks? Anyway, I started by setting a timer for 30 seconds and then I washed the screen out with a hose and surprise it didn't work So I had to do it again with the second screen But this time I did it for two minutes and that was the perfect amount of time So I ended up with only one screen, but that's okay. So it's time for the most important stage, which is printing the design Okay, so I am just about to get started on some of my first prints I've got my screens, I've got my squeegee, and I have my jumpers. Everything is in place. I just have to get the ink out. I only got three colours, black, white, and brown, because I'm kind of going for like a beige, like cottage core aesthetic kind of thing. So I set up my printing studio and I started to get nervous. I'm really nervous to do this because if it goes wrong, I will ruin the t-shirts. And although they weren't the most expensive part of this, they're the part that if it goes wrong, I'm just stuck with like this shameful, messed up t-shirt. <laughs> okay, this is the big reveal, the first print that I've done. Fuck. <laughs> so the first time that I did actually try and screen print, it didn't go very well. I definitely used too much ink. So I flooded the screen with basically too much ink. Oh dear. <laughs> I was thinking of just giving up at that point. Um, I'm just thinking like, it's too hard, I can't do it. But luckily I didn't because I decided, fuck it, I'll try it one more time. And if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Okay, I actually used a lot less ink for this one. So hopefully this one comes out. Oh yeah. <laughs> Look at that! The print actually came out. I was so, so happy, as you can see. Oh my god. So yeah, lesson learned. If it doesn't work the first time, try it a second time. It looks so good. Yeah! Oh my god, I'm so glad that turned out. Holy shit. I managed to actually print out this design today and I am, um, I'm literally over the moon. Cause Jesus Christ, it was a ball ache. <laughs> I thought it wasn't gonna work. Oh my god. Who would have thought that I could get so stressed out over like a t-shirt? <laughs> oh my god. I'm blown away. <laughs> okay, so this was actually the first attempt of the skull design that I did. As you can see, it's just sort of a blob. But eventually I managed to see what I was doing wrong. It turns out I was flooding the screen before putting it on the t-shirt, which really, it didn't work, guys. <laughs> and instead, this is the final product. Uh, I have tote bags as well. So at the end of the week, once I finished all my new products, I'm gonna set up a little photo shoot, take photos of them to upload to Etsy and add the listings and also use it to promote the products on my Instagram, which I think would be really cool. So it was time to set up my camera. So some things I did to get my photos looking nice and crisp is to use natural sunlight and I also used a white background. Make sure you take pictures from lots of different angles like the front, side, back, have it in use from afar, hanging, close up, show the labels, put it on a model, go crazy, go stupid guys. But in the future I'd really like to spread out and do more different designs so if you guys have any ideas of stuff that you think I should try or designs or styles let me know and I'll try and make some of them, maybe, um, if it's actually a good idea, not just like a fucking Team Skeet t-shirt or something. Actually, I could totally do a Team Skeet t-shirt. Wow, we live in a free country, guys. So keep your eyes peeled for some Team Skeet t-shirts, guys. But for now, all that was left was to create my new listings. And again, I found it helpful to use Allura because it gave me some cheeky checklists of things that I should do if I want to optimize my shop and make it the baddest bitch possible. Also, it points out what's wrong with each listing and gives it a percentage out of 100. Again, if you guys want to check that out, the link is in the description. Okay, so I think that's the last thing I'm going to film for today's video. Um, if you enjoyed it, let me know in the comments. Um, and like this video. I never say that, but like the video. Subscribe, stay around, um, and I will get you in the next video. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know what I mean by I'll get you. Um, I thoroughly apologize for that. Okay, bye. <laughs>